Hello everybody, this is Coffee Cut Robot here, uh, having another coffee break. Um, originally I was just in the process of getting this guy out of his packaging to go maybe take some pictures, but the weather's looking a bit rubbish, so I thought I'd have a cup of coffee, have a look at him, and uh, I figured well, why not unbox him on camera uh, and share it with you guys and have another coffee break. But uh, today on the blog, you might have seen the picture with these guys and kind of wrapping up all the stuff. This is a rubbish angle, I'm sorry. Um, wrapping up all the stuff I picked up for at the Singapore Toy and Game and Comic Convention. Um, so I figured I'd just show off these little guys. Today there's a picture of these guys. Uh, tomorrow for Throwback Thursday is an old picture of the ones I got from ToyCon UK. And... Uh, yeah, you can see the difference between them. These guys were metallic, and uh, I do apologize, the lighting right now because of the weather is rubbish, and I need to go and get some proper lights set up, but quite frankly, don't want to do that right now. Um, but go have a look online. Uh, you'll see the pictures of these guys. They're very cool. Uh, I'm pretty sure some of these are still available on the Unbox website. They're, um, and go check out Gary Lamb at greasebat.com. I don't see it, just zooming. Zooming. Ha, da, da. Oh, that's horrible. I'm sorry, guys. Um, they're really fun. These came metallic versions of them. Shiny. Shiny. And uh, fun little guys. Very kaiju. Very uh, giant monster. Yeah, so check out uh, Unbox and Jeff Lamb. Uh, Greasebat. Uh, lots of cool stuff. Really, really do like these. We'll happily pick up these at any convention in fun colorways. Um, they do come in like sets of like all one color, but uh, I just think it's fun having lots of different colors of these guys. Um, yeah, so go look at that. Go look at the Coffee Cut Robot blog uh, or Instagram, and you'll uh, you'll see the differences between today and tomorrow. Uh, zoom out a little bit. All right, let's get this guy out of package. I'm gonna say zoom in. I think I got a knife here somewhere. I did have a knife here somewhere. Oh, here there it is. Huzzah. Up. So we will tape and up. tape and tape. Very high tech. Ooh, comes out. Here we go. Uh, but uh, uh, so this guy is a uh, larger figure from the Rivet Wars board game. But uh, uh, I'm pretty sure it's RivetWars.com. I think so. Uh, made by Mighty Jacks. Um, so rivetwars.com, there you go. But I do see the miniatures are pretty cool. I'm pretty sure this is the only one Mighty Jacks has done, but in lots of different colors. Uh, very mountaineer guy, mountaineer, the mountaineer, the mountaineer, the mountaineer. Um, and a uh, very gliosy feeling kind of plastic, kind of bendy. I think they, like obviously the arm comes off and I'm pretty sure that is a glass peg. So you can now have yeah, glass peg. Um so see that comes off. I'm guessing this arm comes off. Yep, cool. Feet obviously come off. Ta-da! Ta -da. Does the backpack come off? I don't think so. The head swivels, I assume it comes off. Different color. Uh, sometimes glass is hard to get apart the first time. I think the hat's glued on there, but um, I don't know. Anyways, uh, cool figure, cool design. Um, I really hope they do come out with more of these, even though I think, I'm pretty sure these came out like two years ago, so I think that's unlikely. Um, but lots of cool design from Rivet Wars. Um, yeah, not a bad little fella. Not a bad, let's put the knife on. Um, so yeah, these are still available on the Mighty Jacks website. Uh, yeah, that's well, what it says on the tin, really. It's um, so that's about it. Uh, thanks for joining me for a cup of coffee. Uh, and oh, not too far. Um, and maybe we'll, if it's weather picks up any a bit, we'll take this guy outside for a couple pictures or something to, you know, wrap up this whole. Uh, uh, what I picked up whole from uh, the convention. Um, yeah, so 
Anyways, enjoy coffee. Cheers, everybody.